Simon sound and I saw Monty Python in the Holy Grail. It is directed by Terry Jones and Terry Gilliam. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. This is requested by Patreon. If you like the fast track movie review, you can do that at patreon.com slash ASC presents on with the review. This movie starts with some coconuts. <laughs> We got King Arthur, and he's got his guy named Patsy, and they're doing coconuts. <laughs> they're doing coconuts like it sounds like it's a horse, and I like this. I should mention that I've seen this movie twice now. The first time I saw this movie, I literally don't remember which context it was in, but it was definitely before Min Salad saw. I just had seen it, and I enjoyed it, and I laughed really hard the first time watching it. So upon second rewatch, where do I laugh again? We're about to find out. The coconuts, I sure did laugh at yet again. So we got King Arthur, he's looking for Camelot. And he goes to Camelot and there's a bunch of French dudes. You got one French dude be like, oh, we're in our cool little wall here, right? Ah, oh, you want to get in the Camelot? Nope. He's trying to get in the Camelot and they throw barn animals down at them. I found this to be intriguing. I had no expectation for this movie when it opened with coconuts and also the page flipping. And I like the page flipping. One of them is like featuring Sir, who's not going to be in this movie. And he wasn't in this movie. So I laughed at that. So there's a lot of points at the beginning where I was like, okay, this movie's not going to take itself seriously at all, including barn animals being thrown and also king arthur goes into a forest and he encounters a man and this man's like do not pass you shall not pass you cannot go on this land king arthur's like all right let's have a duel and this guy's like all right let's have a duel and here's something that just sticks in my head this guy duels with king arthur and then king arthur cuts off his arm and this guy is like fight me up some more i could totally take you on king arthur being like what your arm's off he's like nah it's tis a scratch <laughs> it was a really funny line so i really found myself laughing at this part and then he just goes pew, 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 just, and starts chopping off another one of his arms and then when the guy starts kicking him he goes pew, and that guy's just like I have nothing. I'll get you. These will grow back. And then King Arthur just walks on off again. And then this movie goes to a guy who's doing a historical documentation, a documentary on this type, this time of period, I guess. And I just am like, okay, this is weird. And then the knight just slashes his throat. I'm like, wait, what's happening? Is, is this modern time or is this ancient time with some modern need? I, I'm not even like sure what's happening at this point. So this is like intriguing to me. So I'm like, okay, well, that was weird. I'm sure that'll show up in the movie more because that's how good movies work is if you have something introduced in the first act, it'll appear in the second and third act as well. This entire movie just seems like a bunch of hijinks after hijinks after hijinks. We have King Arthur and he's gotten more men to follow him. He goes to these dudes, they call themselves the knights who say knee. And every time they say knee, uh, <laughs> they just quiver in fear. <laughs> what power? does me have also they want to change what word they say but that would give them less power because then people would be like wait which word has the power is it me or like whatever else you're planning on having power so anyway he sees them they're like hey we're the knights of knee go retrieve this thing and so they go into town and they're like oh we've been sent by the the knights of knee and everyone's terrified and afraid what's also what's interesting is there's this note that ends up killing one of his men. He looks at the nose like, oh, it's a pretty lady. Let's go up to the castle. Goes up to the castle and it's actually a prince who is, so, he's just not even manly at all. Not one bit. He's acting entirely in a woman-like way. And I guess the word is effeminate. He's acting like that. And I like this because then we have the king and the king's like, oh, I'm so sorry about his behavior, dude. I'm so sorry. Is there anything that I could do to reward you making trouble at all, at all? And he, he just leaves. It's like, 
oh, please take me, please take me. So there's a prince, he just leaves. <laughs> They're traveling some more in the forest and they encounter some dudes. They're three headed knight and they keep on arguing with each other and then they are able to leave. And I just think while watching this scene, like, oh, wow, if you do squabbles, if you do squabbles within a group, then that group is no longer effective to defend or protect anything and can just let people slide through. Versus if those knights were in perfect synchronicity, they could have easily probably killed everybody, but nope, King Arthur avoided a fight narrowly. And it seems like King Arthur has a stick up his bum about the French who were denying him in the freaking Camelot. And he's like, I want to go back there again. I want to go back there. And this movie, it's funny, but I feel like the structure of the story itself is not like a hero's journey. It's a subversion on that or it's a comedy on the hero's journey, which doesn't really follow the hero's journey. So I can't say with definition what the story story is, like what his goal is, or just following King Arthur as he goes around the land and collects a bunch of dudes and seeing who he encounters. And these dudes just tend to be funny and be weird and they're strange. So that's this movie. So he goes around some more, picks up more dudes, does all the picking up of all the dudes in a not gay way. He's like, all right, I've got an army. We're gonna go against the French. And then suddenly he's just gone. One of the Lancelot's gone. They had a trusty Lancelot and now he's gone. Well, that's weird. Also, I should mention in between all of this fun medieval drama, we have a police officer back to where that guy was killed, the documentarian. It's like a real, real life police thing happening, like from the 70s. Oh wow, it's modern. That's weird. Okay, how will this come to fruition in the third act? Well, let's go fight them. Let's go fight the French. And then breaking up their fight, there's a police car just goes, it folds up in front of them and starts arresting all of them and breaks the camera and that's how the movie ends. Watching this a second time, I do think it holds up in comedy, but story-wise, there isn't much of one. I feel like mostly the smoothie's appeal is the comedy, and I like the comedy so much that I will give it a good score, but story-wise, not much. It's just the adventures of King Arthur. I mean, that's fine. It was a vehicle for comedy which I appreciate. If this was not done in such a comedic way, but it was still the same story attempted, I don't think it would have gone over so well because uh, there's no hero's journey, dude. He doesn't lose anything or like loses people, I guess, but it's not like a beat in the moment where it's significant to him, where he loses something. I like the performances of everybody and I like the look of everything, the world building, I really appreciate. This movie goes a long way to establish the world building. So when we have the modernity inserted in the middle, it's weird, it's confusing, but you know, it builds up and then that's how the movie ends. Is modernity comes in is like, hey, you can't do all these actions that you're doing, dude. What are you doing? Cause you know, if this was modern times, all the actions in this movie could not be done now. And I think that's what the ending means. It means that if modern cops came around to what these guys were doing back then in 1932 AD, came in and were like, hey, hey, in the name of the law, stop that. Uh, <laughs> they'll be committing so many crimes, they'll be executed 69 times over because of how many crimes they committed in the modern day that are just acceptable in 1932 AD. So I like the comedy of this movie. The story structure is just following King Arthur and there's no hero's journey, but it's still a good movie despite that. I gotta give this movie, this movie, it's like a solid eight out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one the platform really likes that. If you want a fast track move review, you can do that for $20 ideas at patreon.com slash ASC presents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness of all them daily move reviews, go to this link tree. Find the way you can help support the daily grind of all them daily move reviews. So go here. And until next time in salad sauce, see you later to my salad croutons and bacon bits. All right, now I'm going to go away. Wait, where are my coconuts? How else could I go if I didn't have my coconuts in hand? I hope I'm melting. I cannot leave because I don't have any coconuts to help me aid in uh, traveling. I need my coconuts. 
I'm dying. I'm melting because I'm coconutless.